In each hour of Where's Blair, I want to take you on a fascinating journey to a foreign place. We'll explore its hidden history and reveal new and exciting aspects of its pop culture, too. There'll be glimpses of traditional music, costumes, and customs as we let music and dance tell the greater story of the soul of a place. Let's visit the Indonesian island of Bali. Isn't that cool? It's just a piece of bamboo. There's bamboo all around me here in Bali, and there's music all around me too. In fact, music is so pervasive here, the Balinese don't even have a word for art. I'm Blair Tendall, and I spent most of my life playing classical music in places like Carnegie Hall and Lincoln Center. But today I travel the world, learning about people and places through their indigenous music. It's a great way to connect to a culture like this one. Whoops, this one? <laughs> yeah, I'm that way. Now, you may not speak the Balinese language, but follow me. Let's listen for the soul of mythic and modern Bali. Blair's first stop in Bali is to visit Chokus, the local flute maker. After trading lines on their respective instruments, Blair lets Chokus try out the oboe. It seems this art stuff is a lot harder than it looks. No wonder they start them so young. Hindus use music as an offering to please their gods and show their gratitude. What a great way of life. They play the gamelan, which is this shimmering metallic sound. It's gongs and xylophones, and it casts this beautiful aura over the whole island. It seems there's a ritual for every occasion. The eight-year-old Lagong dancer starts the festivities by stabbing the witch character. The entire village falls into a trance, and led by this warrior woman, they start stabbing each other, taking the occasional pit stop in the priest's area. But Bali isn't all about gamelan and fancy dances. This steel magnolia got to check out some of their fabulous spas and even a little bit of scuba diving. OK, here's what you look like after an Ayurvedic Indian massage. It's a tourist visa, really, only 30 days. And it's challenging diving, but you're going to see Big animals like mola mola, it's the annual sunfish migration. These guys weigh a ton, literally a ton. They're giant. After a month in this beautiful paradise, I'm starting to think the graceful Balinese way of life is something we could all use more of. And the celestial tones of the gamelan will always ring true.